Hello, welcome to another Rust Electricity tutorial. I've made this video today because I've had a few requests from people asking for a simple turret system that they can place in the compound and it's triggered by an HBHF sensor and that switches the turrets on. Now the problem with having that set up is obviously once someone triggers your HBHF sensor and turns the turrets on, the turrets are obviously going to run down the power source and eventually switch off. By introducing a simple timer to the circuit, you can set the turrets to come on and stay on for a set amount of time. When the intruder has either been killed or has left your compound, the turrets will turn off conserving power. Pretty simple circuit this. All we need is a power source, an electrical branch, a timer, a splitter, and an HBHF sensor, which I've hidden over there, placed on the external wall. So the first thing we want to do is we want to run power out from our battery into our electrical branch. And then the left hand branch out, and you can leave this set at two, by the way. Obviously click E to configure. Just leave that set at two. And we're going to run that into the power in of our HBHF sensor. Good idea to plant something in your compound just to hide the wires. Don't worry as well about these direction indicators showing on the wires. I've had a few people say that that's not very good because it really highlights wiring. Well that only shows if you've got building privilege and you've got the wire tool equipped. Okay, so let's connect up to power in on HPHF sensor. And then power out, we want to run back into our toggle on our timer. Then the right hand power out from the electrical branch goes into power in on our timer and the output goes into our splitter. Now I've set this timer for 10 seconds, but obviously for defense within your compound, you wanna probably set that to five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. It works quite simply. We trigger the HBHF sensor, the turrets turn on, all three turrets are on. And as soon as that 10 second timer runs down, the turrets will switch off again. Like I said, very simple, very easy circuit. And the main idea behind it is it's designed to conserve power. Gone are the days when you could have multiple turrets switched on in your compound. Now, because obviously they take power, you want to be able to conserve as much as you can. Thank you for watching, guys. Your support is always appreciated. If you are enjoying the content, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Also, if you hit the little notification bell, you'll get notified whenever there's a new video uploaded. Thanks again. See you on the next one.